Hi everyone and welcome to the latest At Home with Backstage, slightly different than normal. Um, yesterday we had the pleasure of having Edwin Milan, the producer of Ireland's Call, join us for our Young Curators meeting. And while I was listening to him chatting so passionately about Ireland's Call, about John's work and about touring all over the world and the Q&As that they've had afterwards, I was thinking to myself, I should, so I should have had this as an interview. So not to let it go to waste. Um, take three minutes out of your day and have a listen to Edwin speaking more passionately and more eloquently about the show than I ever could. Um, and then do yourself a favour and hop on to backstage.ie and grab a ticket for the show for just five euro, price of a pint. You'll have yourself a night to remember tomorrow night and a show that will stay with you forever. I'll give you a little bit of a background about the production and how it's worked um, so far and why we feel so strongly about having the Q&A and frame it as a kind of a forum piece. So John first performed the piece in the Dublin Fringe Festival, but when I was approached to produce the show, I, I saw the amount of themes that John had crafted into the piece that were so important that we talk about in society. They range right from uh, sexual abuse, from clerical abuse, from addiction, um, alcoholism, uh, race, class. It's, it's really, it's incredible how he's treaded all these pieces in. The, the great power of theatre is to heal communities and bring people together. And often now, like when you look at kind of our online behaviour, we're pitted against each other and opinions are pitted against each other. It's very hard for people to come together in a healing conversation. John is delighted to do the post show and he's really proud that the work is going to you there as well. These Q&As, I have to say, they're just incredible. We had some amazing reactions. We had 600 um, transition year students from all across Cavan in the show one of the teachers stood up at the end and she said in 30 years of teaching that she'd never heard a more candid and open chat about addiction mm. for young people it was powerful incredible mm. it was there's also a, a section in the play that deals about um trauma and how we pass this on generational trauma so that's how john has linked some of these you'll see in the piece um this was particularly interesting when you so older um, Irish people or second generation Irish people watch the piece and comment. So when we were in um, the Axis, there was a lady who stood up. She was in tears at the end of the piece. And she said that um, it was the first time that she'd heard Letter Frack, the industrial school, being talked about in a piece of culture or a piece of art. And she said that her brother had died an alcoholic in Birmingham in a little bedsit. And he had been in Letter Frack. And nobody knew his mm -hmm. demons or where he was from. He was just judged as an alcoholic. And she was in tears saying that it was so lovely to be part of this conversation. It's like mm -hmm. to have a piece of art mm -hmm. and to have a, a forum to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. Um, so we're bringing the show to you guys where we kind of built it. We've brought it all around the place. We've brought it internationally. It's, uh, it's been great that the piece has got... Um, even though we didn't get to perform it at the Abbey stage, unfortunately, we got it to the, mm -hmm. the national stage. To, to, and the whole idea there was to bring these conversations to a national focus. Um, but COVID, unfortunately, spoiled mm -hmm. that. But we feel really strongly about bringing it to, um, to the festival and the work that you're doing. The, the power of theatres, particularly in regional theatres, where you have a really an, an amazing uh, facility in backstage where now you drive to creation and you're bringing your stories and, and that communities are going to heal by coming together in this way and even in your, your the opportunity you have to start creating and making your work and making it impactful to um to young people in your area that that's an amazing initiative a lot of the theaters around the country and internationally they actually have, have stopped cultivating a new audience because they haven't reached out to the young people or new audience and the work has become slowly irrelevant because they haven't done that. So I think it's incredible what you're doing and, and getting people to engage with new work that you want to see.